M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So I had an error on my Whistler TRX1. I had to force the firmware into it to get rid of the error. This is how I did it. I went to this link here. Now it will work on the TRX1 or 2. So it's not using the normal software that you would use. So I just click here at the top here, CPU Updater. And we've got this file here. We're going to run it. Click more info. Run anyway. Go yes. And then it gives you the warning and then you go yes. Now this is where at this point you can plug in your cable into the software. So you make more warnings and then continue. And that you will be able to select when it's plugged into your, the Whistler is plugged into your device. Now remember the Whistler needs to be turned off. Um, you select the COM and then just, you know, follow. You can test it first It make sure there's a connection and then click update and it will put the latest firmware back into your Whistler TRX and hopefully it will now reboot up after the error that you were getting. Bye for now, 7.3.